So yeah, this is Scooby Doo Dive 100 Frights. It's the best 3D platformer of all time. Um, basically, the main objectives of the game, yeah, thank you for the 100 bits, RP, is uh, to get Scooby Snacks so that we can open doors and progress and kill the final boss. Um, so basically what that means is we have to get a bunch of inventions, which are just power-ups, um, so that we can get progression through the game and beat the final boss. Uh, and this is any percent, which means we skip like 80% of the game maybe, so it's really short. Because this game is actually kind of long casually. Um, but we need Scooby Snacks to do Snack Gates. So we can progress. Yeah, you always play as Scooby. Did I even practice GGS? There is no practicing GGS. I either clip through the wall or I don't. Either it takes 10 minutes or it takes 5 seconds. All the other- all the skips in the game are super easy. Except for GGS and Lido skip, which are both at the end of the game. Yeah, this is on GameCube and PS2. And, uh, original Xbox. Nice. This is not Resident Evil 2. Sausage Pooper. How you doing, no man? Yo, Skeletizzle. Oh, it'd be fantastic, Watcher. It's been here the whole time, you just didn't know about it, Chronix. Hey, if I got you, Yo, maybe I can beat those assholes. Gamer. You're coming with me. Thank you for the raid, man. How you doing? Welcome everybody. Add revenue, Pog. Yo, what's up? We are speedrunning Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. I'm doing a marathon today of all the speed games I know how to do, and this is my first ever speed game. This is my Lion King, if you want to make an Orch metaphor. Hey Mike, hey Kept Virus. Welcome everybody. Had one good rain run, died a crane. Nice. Just in time for the first Shaggy cutscene. Hey, Ulysses Lime, how you doing? How long is this run? Like 35 minutes. Cooperation. Pog you. Uh oh. Um. Thank you. Now I know what a rubber band feels like. You go on, Scoob. I'm gonna hang around you. Yeah, get it? Hang around. I'll catch up with you later. Get it? Hang around. So basically, for those who just joined. This is Scooby-Doo 900 Frights. It's a 3D platformer on the GameCube and PS2. It's extremely broken. And we uh, we just need to collect snacks so that we can open new areas, basically, is what we're doing right now. Just barely, Reaps. You're fine. The run just started, so don't worry. So the first obstacle we have is this sticky floor that we can't jump on. Um, we're, we'll get, well, we're never gonna get the uh, power up to not to be able to jump on that, so we just gotta deal with it. 
So you can you can do a one frame jump there right at the beginning of the room. It doesn't recognize that you're on sticky floor yet because the sticky floor loads in after. And you can just instantly jump and it saves like a second. Speed run dead. And yeah, you did miss uh, DMC one. We just we just finished DMC one. But we just got our double jump, which is gonna help us break the shit out of the game. Death warp. Yeah, basically, just reset. I'm on the top of the Scooby Doo page. Pog you. I'm probably also the only one on the Scooby Doo page. Um, jump, please. Thank you. I agree, Ulysses. Yeah, Neutrino's the only other one that plays this game. So, yeah. This game is actually fantastic, okay? I unironically love this game, it's a lot of fun. You did not, unfortunately. I'm over here trying to get used to the controls. Yeah. But you'll get to see how well built this game is soon. It's hilarious. So for some reason, everything in this game has collision. Like you see those trees in the background? They have collision. Like everything. And that'll come into play later. It's super fun, Mike. Nice. Don't want to miss the cycle. Thank you, Admiral. Appreciate that, man. World record holder for this game in my chat right now, Admiral. Yeah, I'm not playing on original hardware, unfortunately. Oh. I don't have a capture card. So this is where the game is just, yeah, this is just broken. You can just jump on stuff. So now I'm backtracking through a, uh, like a side area to get more snacks. Yeah, it does, Gordon. It's actually like pretty slow, but it sounds really fast. So here we're gonna see the first skip. It skips like probably 10 levels, but it puts us in a very strange scenario. We clip out of bounds and then do the shortcut backwards, but it skips actually too much of the game. So we have to go, please dig the hole, thank you. Um, we have to go backwards through some of the hardest levels in the game so that we can get to where we wanna go. But it's it skips an auto scroller and like a couple of levels. So I'm gonna take a death warp here. And how you doing, Warlike Pacific? Um, I would say that this is the only good Scooby-Doo game, but others would disagree. So this is called Hedge Clip. It's really easy. You just hold diagonal and you clip backwards through the gate. This game is really well made. Cyber Chase stands game. Cyber Chase doesn't even touch this game, dude. This game is not that old. Someone should look at when did this game come out? You should know, right, Neutrino? I have no idea. Oh, I need this. Monga W, Zebra. So, I went around the outside there because there is a... a cutscene that you have to skip. 
2001. Yeah, this game this probably doesn't look that good for 2001. 2002. Oh, I see. I was very young when this game came out, like one or two. So this, uh, okay. This is one of the, the, le the next like four levels are, we're doing backwards. We're actually backtracking right now because we skipped too much of the game. And because of that, the camera's in a weird spot and makes it kind of hard. Scooby-Doo Unmasked is the one that most people have played, but I think this one's better. Yeah, I thought I was gonna miss the cycle. So now we're gonna yeah, yeet up. Oh, oh no. that's time loss. So the way that the hit the jump detection works in this game is you can run off of the edge and then jump afterwards to get more distance. I jumped too late there, obviously, because I fell to my death. Um, but that's a little bit of a skip. I'm 20, Benev. Born in 99. There we go. Hey Zane, how you doing man? They weren't in a good spot. This fucking fish is gonna kill me right now. It's gonna happen. Dude, how do you know I don't grind this game offline, Katrina? I don't, but how do you know I don't? Oh, oh my dog. My games that I played already, RE2 and Devil May Cry 1. Up next is RE4 and then Devil May Cry 3. But no, you're right, I haven't touched this game in forever. Alright, summer early. Like I said, everything has collision. This level also has the cutscene at the beginning, so if you don't do it fast enough, then you get the cutscene. You have to grab all the snacks in the game? No, that would be 100%. We're, we're running any percent. So we just have to beat the final boss, that's it. Get to the credits. Ichigoska, how you doing? Yeah, dude. Tony is my first speed game. And it's not even my real PB. I got a 29, 50, 55 or some shit. But I. It was not allowed on the board at the time because of the emulator cap. Hey, thanks for the host, Coffee Mike. Assholes. Appreciate that. So I didn't submit it. And the VOD got deleted because it was more than 30 days and I didn't highlight it. Because I was like really new to Twitch. Now I got the helmet, which means we're gonna fuck shit up. We can actually kill enemies now. Ah! Wrong button. Oh, that's not where I was supposed to go. Oops. 
Oops. There we go. So now we're gonna do another skip, the next skip. Uh, you basically skip like all of the manor levels doing this one, and it's absurdly easy. There it was. You just jump over the invisible wall. That's all you have to do. That skips like at least 30 levels probably. This is just like Sekiro, yeah, basically. But these levels are cancer. No! Ugh. Ugh. Falling in fishy. Limited skips. It's called no GGS. That's not a category. Of course. If you want to watch someone that's actually good at this game, Neutrino is actually good at this game. Yeah, it is, Sam. This looks harder than Sekiro Omega Wolf. It is. This is the Dark Souls of Scooby Doo. You're better than me, that's for sure. Nice. So, in this level, we're getting keys. GDQ win. Dude, imagine if I got this run into GDQ. What insane amount of misadvertising and misinformation about my channel would that be? Dude, my snack count is gonna be fucking monkey shake. Cycle, pog. Okay, we're gonna go for the cycle skip. All right, hopefully I get it, I probably won't. Oh, I got it, pog you. That saves like eight seconds maybe. It's actually pretty hard. If you miss it, it loses like 15 though, so, you know, worth. Yeah, probably Cyber Chase, it's Theo. Dude, I fucking hate fishy. It's so terrible. And my snack count is low. I know I want like 1080 when I get here. It's a onesie. What are you talking about, rats? How you doing, rats? It's too small, though. Like, if I was wearing high socks then no shit would be showing. Halloween, I skate in it, usually. I think I need a new one, this one's too small. <laughs> Yahoo! Okay, so here we got a little cutscene skip. Fucking speed tech. Yo, Zebra, thank you for gifting a sub to rats. 
Appreciate that. If you die, it skips the cutscene, so you just yeet yourself off the cliff. There's also another way to do it, but I never learned how. I'm sure Neutrino would know. No, oh, I need that snack box. Come, come back. Thank you. You rock so hard. Couldn't have done it without you. Can I trade flip an eight stare? I mean, I could. I fucking hate getting stares though. If you want to see my skateboarding? Just do exclamation point Instagram. Thank you, Shinri. You could jump over the cutscene trigger. Off the lamp, right? Wrecked. I tried it like once. It was really hard. Which category for RE4? Uh, new Game Pro and No Merchant Pro. Dude, show's over. Make sure to follow Trent Sama if you enjoyed. See you next time.